All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for The Great, Great Pretender, Pretender, Season 1, one Episode one. 8. All, All right. right, we have mm -hmm. to play mm -hmm. Abby, racing, and yep. this dude. <laughs> yeah, we got you into the finale, but yeah, you have to show up this... Uh, this, this, <laughs> this, this very not sexist... Very not sexist guy. bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's the, the least sexist person mm -hmm. ever, in Absolutely. Fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but... Uh, given that you have a death wish because you went through some traumatic shit in your mm -hmm. past, um, I would like to see you and Edamura talk about that. That would probably be helpful. Have some cool, uh, vulnerable conversations here. Mm -hmm. And even if this is all, you know, just stuff that could be used ultimately to, you know, manipulate Edamura, mm -hmm. those were those was, those were real, like, yep. uh -huh. you know, flashbacks and that was oh, yeah. vomiting and all that stuff. So I. I, I like this because the show has given us the 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 card saying we can bamboozle you really hard here, but this was genuine. Mm -hmm. So this is exciting from a character development standpoint. And who knows? Maybe Laurent brought you on as a mechanic, not for the plane, but you know, mechanic for the pilot. For the yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Mm. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> What was that? The eyebrow twitch. Now she kind of relaxed there a little bit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. Oh, one of them's a ballerina. Huh! <laughs> なんてことするべ。俺なんかじゃ頼りねえだろうけど。話すだけでも楽になったりするもんだべ。ああ。な。どんな<笑><笑> well. Huh. I love that they brought that that continuity up the last uh, yeah, yeah, not like when he was in the plane and he's like yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, so is the race just a distraction? No, 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 no. They're they're gonna be betting on the race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like. Yeah, because. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. I love that Abby and Edamura didn't believe her at all. Oh, yeah. I knew it! I knew it! Uh-huh. I knew it! <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 Ibrahim Kyodai ni Hanky of Hirunai. Yes, yes, Minasa, Hajime must. Yeah, was a Kuramas de Kokuro Samadabe. Hibarash Tsideni, Nanika Chikarani Narenaka to Sasotanda. He reacted at Ite. Never eat to the Murish de Instermunda. Makiko Bekte, eh? Son Namunja Namanui, eh? Ah, Koroze. Damn, he's so shit. He's changed. おれはこんな体になっちまったんだぞ。向こうぜ。マシンも会場も燃えしまえ。今回はあえて嬉しかったよ。ご苦労様。詐欺なんて見っともない真似は死んでもごめんだ。わあ。お前が手伝うのは自
But they'd be sus of her from a mile away, right? <笑>どの口が言うんだか。失礼よ。ナイス、ナイス。ルイスさんのチームにはオーストラリア戦から参加したら。彼はまだ若いし、才能もあるわ。だから最終職先を探してあげたくってここに。ま、俺たちの成果
Yeah, nice. Nice. Wow. Oh, it's all so sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so twisted. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Right. Dishonest men you can always trust to be dishonest. Exactly. Yeah, he's an addict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He belongs in the kaiju universe. Uh-huh. Yes! Perfect! Yes! <laughs> I was looking at the cap and I'm like, is he gonna like yeah. wear it for Oh my god. But to bet the farm at a casino that you're not yeah. completely familiar with, that's... <laughs> He's already, like, yeah. good at this, yeah! Yeah. Uh, money, members, come on. Are you a member? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's where it ends. All yeah. right. I mean, it, yeah, that's about that time, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So the con is in full yeah, effect. We we went from something that was potentially super unwieldy and like like oh no, how will we actually pull this off to something that is like so like so childishly simple. They have to do all these things of poking at the dude's ego to be to get yeah. him to to basically like not realize that after all of this stuff of oh I've had women try and get with me for my money. You think I'm gonna fall for something like that? He ends up falling for like. One of the most basic ass like tricks in the right, book. and it's because they reiterated with a different strategy here, and I like mm -hmm. the idea that they went for the completely different angle of oh, Edamura, yes, this is your deal. You're mm -hmm. going to go and yep. you know mess with their other stuff here, but you're going to get caught specifically. Uh huh. And because they know that they're the ones who sabotage things, you're going to be mm -hmm. like, oh, cool. Y they're wrong about what they're after you for, but you are sus, and so that's why I was right. You are sus, mm -hmm. but you're sus in a way that I can use. Yeah, I yeah. I, I love it. It's I great. Lo I love it so much because while they couldn't have predicted the actual personality of the guy to be able to be like, oh, I like people like you, they could absolutely go for the, uh, the greed angle of, mm -hmm. oh, I want you yep. on my side here. And in a lot of ways, and I, I love that they showcase the fact that no, the things that they were trying weren't actually working. Yes. Right? They were expecting the seduction to work, things like that. Mm -hmm. Then it's the, okay, just like the the, the psychic, right? That's doing yep. the cold reader of, oh, I'm guessing it's a, a, a friend, a dog, a lover, a brother, a mother, a, 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 a boss. Ah, yes, a boss, that's what it is. You How know. did you do that? Right, yeah. And so they just do that here and, you know, it works. It works. Having him be also scouted out to be a gambler, mm -hmm. meaning that he likes the actual rush specifically. He likes the excitement of it. He's not just somebody that does it for the, the money. He obviously does it for the money, but he does take on the risk for the sake of probably feeling that. Sure. Is a fun thematic parallel to our adrenaline junkie. Oh, hey. Who has a mm -hmm. dance with death that she's yep. courting. I love this because, generally speaking, they try to make the antagonist and the protagonist have thematic parallels. But in this case here, Edinburgh is not the one on focus. And this mm -hmm. is more of an arc based story where this guy's going to be forgotten about in 12 oh, yeah. episodes, you uh -huh. know? Like, yep. who, I mean, well, no, yeah. no, we will, we will. <laughs> think back with with fond hilarity to the no I'm not sexist at all especially given that after this he's like I'm a bad guy I'm rotten to the core but now he but, can admit it but he <laughs> no, no, but that's the thing he can't admit defeat to a woman see he's ah, even more yeah sexy. there we go yes. he, he can't admit his oh alone, my his god to a, to a to a woman yeah 
That's oh, that's so great, and yeah. that says so much that about says him. Says so much about him. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, and also where the jealousy of Clark would come from, and then, right. it, and then it like comes out in this way where he's yep, like, yep. nope, nope, it's I'm. I'm fine. And him also wanting younger women as well. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. single because I want to be, but also the the women that can't sniff the shit on me. Yeah. 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 That's uh, okay. So right. um, <laughs> now here we are. Here we and, are. And and the fact that he has so bought into it, like, mm-hmm. uh, on the one hand, if I were to think about like a like a, a con story structure and everything. Mm-hmm. I would think that once you see that the guy is like dancing around on your chain, yeah. that that might reduce some of the enjoyment because then you don't have the tension of like, oh wait, but how is it actually going to go? Yeah. No, instead, the, I'm I'm so enjoying this because I the guy's so like pathetic and despicable to me that now seeing him be so like, oh yes, I'm going to do this thing, and I'm just like, this is great. This, this is amazing. This is yeah. wonderful. Yeah, and then him coming in with the like, I'm just a basic uh, yeah. Turkish <laughs> restaurant owner. Wait, so then why should you go in the VIP section, my dude? Yeah, the, it's so so are you wealthy or are you not? No, I think it's the I'm wealthy but I'm like boring wealthy, you know? Like like it's boring in the way that I get it kind of a thing, uh, you know? yeah, It's like yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah. got a restaurant chain so I've got some money to blow around and stuff because he's also if you think about it, he's not like well, him looking at this underground gambling place He's not going to think that this is the kind of place that's expecting two hundred million. Oh, I see. And if anything, and yeah. he wouldn't want to reveal that because then he's like, no, then they'll try and get my stuff. He probably also is smart enough that he doesn't gamble that often on anything more than like a percent of his total. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. The the you know um, acceptable losses kind of stuff. Right, right. Which, if anything, they'll have to demonstrate that no, we actually could pay out on your two hundred million. That would probably be the the, the craziest part. That's and, probably the part that would I, I would have a little bit of trouble believing here. Mm-hmm. So what they'll have to do is bring in somebody some, else that's some, a few really con wealthy. people to be like, ah yes, these are such wealthy people and all that right. stuff. And you know But we yeah. haven't established anybody character wise that he would buy for that. Right. Like the only other wealthy person in the story is literally his brother. <laughs> or better yet, hey Casano, you want some of your money back? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He doesn't have anything. That's no, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but that would be funny. That would be really funny. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so the law thinks they got his money, but no. He is he is sniffing the honey. He mm-hmm. is he is he is he yep. is starting to lay his little fly legs down and starting to deposit his shit. And we got it confirmed yes, that it's we the, did. That it's the no no no. Once they become twenty, they're they're uh, oh, that's what you're talking about confirming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was uh, also like wanting basically confirmed here that um, there's a there's a very real chance that while they did um, bamboozle mm-hmm. um, uh, fucking what's his name uh, the other pilot Clark. yeah yeah Clark no 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 oh. the one oh in, yes the, the Australian um, yeah Louise Louis Miller yeah yeah there was something about the way in which Clark kind of said that it's complicated i i'm not sure i'm not sure how much he is either aware Mm -hmm. so or how he feels about that so there's a little bit of like almost like a confirmation that he's not the bad guy here oh yeah like he he Uh likes flying like he does well, now he loves also drowning in you know money and pussy probably. But totally, like, you know. Well, and and like, the 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 crazy theory that came to mind of if mm-hmm. um, the wife yeah ended Isabel. up letting the secret slip yeah it's that she had an affair with Clark uh-huh. and it came out in the bedroom and, and then and then she's and then he's like, like or wait no why would she tell him that no well no she could have but it's the thing hmm. no no she could absolutely uh-huh. have told him but it's the thing of where. She might have been the one that basically saw that his career was what was going to potentially get him oh. into a boyish, stupid moment. Ah, uh, right. Yes, I don't want. I don't she want was him against to get him hurt. trying to do that. Yeah. Well, but also, and maybe that maybe this actually breaks down. But yeah, I was yeah, thinking, yeah. if Clark actually wanted a genuine race, what if he had actually been in on it and he'd been like, no, actually, you, if you, if your oh, husband no. thinks he can beat me. You know, we'll give him a fair shot. Yeah, try and beat me. And, and then, then he convinces the brother to do that, and then he lies, puts the thing in the. Well, yeah, right. The older brother is like, "Fuck no, we're not doing that." You right, know, right, and right. then and then, oh hey, there you go. You know, 
Right, but, and I, 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 I think it's almost confirmed at this point that he doesn't know exactly what happened. Right, given the fact that we have two, like, two marks in this mm -hmm. situation, yeah. even though one is the real mark, right. that, like... I, I would be shocked if there wasn't some level of the mm -hmm. right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. They're yep. not talking to each other, uh -huh. you know, and, yep. and, and that's in a best case scenario. That's if you also don't go into the egos getting into the mix sure. of things and then them actually having differing opinions on what should be done, not just mm -hmm. how to go about doing it. Right. So I definitely think that there is a clear dichotomy of roles though. Mm -hmm. um, Clark never seems to want to be in yeah. part of the business. Oh, I'm sure he finds all benefiting. the paperwork stuff as being very boring and stuff, and it's just, no, 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 I'll, I'll have my money and my pussy, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. and you do your thing, you know. And I'll, I'll just keep being and a I'll happy do mine. pilot, yeah. Right, and, and maybe he's just Because he knows not... about the script. He knows right. about the script, mm -hmm. but I don't think he necessarily knows about sabotaging. I'll have to go and look uh -huh. through the episode again, but I don't think there was any point where they specifically address that he knows that mm -hmm. the and well and the response that they have to the accusation of sabotage because it wasn't a direct accusation at them it's the right there was sabotage right clark looked a little bit like kind of like oh like that's 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 actually a good point let me go to that part specifically because he then goes you know mm -hmm. oh you know we haven't had any luck what can you do yeah some outsider stuck in and screwed with the engine with the engine Older brother obviously freaks out. His eyebrows just sort of go up, like his eyebrows kind of raise. Yeah, he's like, like, like that. He's like, he's like, oh shit. Now, now, granted, if he does know about the sabotage, then I gotta say he should be the one leading this gig, not yeah. the older brother, because that was a very like that was a very good composed response yeah, to it. He kept it, it like, very chill. Like that, that looked that that was chill. That looked like genuine potential concern of like, wait, really? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like not necessarily buying too much into it because I mean, you know, rumors are rumors, you know, right. whereas the but, brother almost gives his entire hand away. Yeah. Yeah. Think. Like confirming that that is the case and we did it, you know, right. But like, yeah. So I think, I, I think there is a very good chance that Clark did not think oh, that he was doesn't just raise. He oh, he lowers then, and he oh. kind of gets this like saddened, oh, but, like kind so, of disappointed. So maybe and, he did know, maybe he clued in afterwards and this is confirmation right it's like fuck but also he did do something but also i m maybe maybe we'd seen it before this too mm -hmm. but if it's after this that then he starts to get that little bit more antsy with mm -hmm. the other brother of like yeah yeah i know i just have to win you know right it's like that maybe there's that <gasps> part of where he's like wait what you, you, you keep going, but I have something okay. cooking. I mean, that's kind of just where I was going with oh, it. Oh, but I have, that I have something major All right, here. all right. If his brother is willing to do this to all the pilots there, but his brother is a gambler, and everyone expects oh. Clark to win, would he theoretically sabotage and potentially kill his brother to cash out really big? For the sake really of the big? company? No, 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 just for money. Just for the or, or, big... yeah, yeah, for the sake of right, the money. Yeah, because if they're doing this whole thing, if he then bets all his money on a different pilot on Abby. Oh shit! Oh shit! And that's what they're actually trying to set up is to get him to bet on Abby, which is another thing that's kind of crazy because that's that's the that's the even harder thing, right? It's not just bet on Clark, but it's, yeah. Oh, and that's why he would then do even more because then it's the oh you could win like maybe like twelve times, like right? Because everybody or knows money. that Clark's gonna win, yeah, and so yeah, it's yeah. boring. If, you know? if anything, that could be interesting. Where it's the Oh yeah, and that's oh, also that's also yeah. where it could be the no. My brother is kind of a problem because he's too he's too he's too uh, emotional. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, right, he's, and uh, so then and so then he's like, too much about this is sports. this is how I'll cut him out of the equation for greed's sake, but also for security's sake, right? Man. When the the older brother doesn't realize that he's actually the one that's the biggest problem, right? The brother right. is the brother is like yeah, he's got his vices, right? Which the older brother equivocates with, with being undisciplined or whatever because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting any pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then or at least none that are um anyways. anyways. Um <laughs> and so then he he thinks that this is what he's got to do and oh, then yeah. that's so devious. Oh man. <laughs> but that's a reason why he would bet that much money is because right. the payout would be so and big. because it's such a sure thing, which if you think about it, if you think that it's such a uh well, mm -hmm. or no wait. No. No, never mind. I was going to say, he, he thinks it's a sure thing because his brother's obviously going to win, but he's thinking that it, his brother's not going to win. But if anything, though, no. It's, but the, it's this the is fact why that would... your brother has been so dependable that it would make it for such a potential. No, no, no. Here's, here's he, he, even more. You could go in this route. The reason why Clark 
will be an easy mark from the brother's perspective is because he's never had to really try. Sure. And thus it's yeah. the, oh, his time will be around 120 to 1, you know, 30 yeah, or something. Or, mm -hmm. He'll put up a pretty good average flight, but he won't get pushed to that amount because he knows that you're going to throw at the last mm, He's second. resting on his laurels. He's, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he'll, he'll win, push you know? a little bit, you know, at a certain yeah. point. But, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But if they then, you know, cycle this back around to where it's the, Abby, we need to have you actually fly on a plane that is actually sabotaged with a boost uh -huh. that will go out. We will make sure that you go out in your blaze of glory here, mm -hmm. but we'll get some serious serious dough out of this and obviously if you want to pull out at the last second and go no actually i'll just i'll just throw it myself you know i don't need to actually have it be done via yeah, some yeah, uh -huh. device that's going to make me feel like well, i'm that's, faster or right because that's the that's the that's the part about this that's like oh my god the older brother is just not thinking this through because they're 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 really making him dance yeah you have no recourse no no. This is not your casino. You no. don't even necessarily know if this no. casino exists. You're coming in in cash. You're That's betting. Why he's he's you're, a gambling addict. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you're betting because you have this whole thing fixed. And so if the person just loses. Well, that's when, why. That's why this is all supposition. That's no, 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 right. But, but like, but like, if you know, when, when theories they theories based on our theories at this point. No, right? no, 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 no. Based on what their what their uh, goal is, which I, oh. I guess, of course, this guy doesn't know that. Like, yeah. he's gonna end up betting on Abby and all that stuff. But like, when Abby loses, that's what everybody expected, anyways. So everyone's gonna be like, wait. Even if you did do that, why the fuck would you bet on the person who hasn't been winning? Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's yeah. been boring because your brother's been winning all the time. You yeah. know, like that would just out him as being someone who's fixed the races. Well, no, no, it it, it wouldn't. Or, or uh, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't it necessarily. He, but it would. He he's really dumb. Like, you're right, exactly. Yeah, if, yeah. Like the only the only argument besides you're really dumb would be no, I knew it was going to happen because I've been fixing the races this whole time and da, 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 and and. and this is probably the part that's really scary is that the way they did this in the first test run of the job is they had him win a little mm -hmm. bit. Yep. So we have to find a way to get him to win a little bit, but then bet a ton on what he knows and maybe that's, knows is a sure thing. Maybe that's because now that Abby beat the other guy, well, no, because she does actually have the talent because that was with her having those mess ups. She still beat him. Mm -hmm. So, because I was thinking maybe they'd give her the juicer, you know? Well, they and can, but they, they just, could, they just but do it secretively. It's sure, but like. It doesn't really matter. But theoretically, yeah. she might not even need that at this no, point if, no. if she's just in a plane that's not going, that doesn't have a kill switch, you know? But. Uh, right, right. I think, yeah. I think, I think the, the, the scary part about this is that they can set up the guy to just have the obvious betting on what he knows is already a rigged race. So from his perspective, sure. he's like, huh, this is the easiest money ever. Mm -hmm. I've already rigged it. So all the way up to the finale, I'll just keep betting on who I know is going to win. Right. Because I I run the whole script. This is hilarious. These schmucks don't realize I'm about to clean them all out. And that would be... And then the finale mm -hmm. is the end will continue with the big one. And he's like, ah, I've been winning so much. Right. Sure. Yeah, he's just been winning like, you know, one to three odds or something like that because, well, oh, he, yeah, you know, whatever. Even then, let's say he's up to like 600 million at that uh -huh. point. Yeah. He then bets 200 million because it's the, oh, well, well right. That's and that's the part everything. of where, yeah, they have to make sure that, you know, that his very um, hesitation of wanting to test the waters of like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not going to bet all my money. Right. I, I mean, of course, if he did bet the 200 million, it's cash. Yeah. yeah. They just take it and leave. Right. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. um, this whole thing's do? fake, anyways, right? It doesn't actually need to have anything to do with the race itself. Right. Uh, other than maybe. They only are collecting the cash mm -hmm. when it's done, but I think they'd collect it beforehand because otherwise it's like, okay, I lost, but I still have my bags of two hundred million. Sure, I, I'm not I, giving these up, you know. Yeah, right? I, I think what would be funny is if he then gets all the way to the finale mm -hmm. and then he busts them for illegal gambling. Like he like talks sure. to the local authorities. He's like, oh yeah, I've been in bed with all the politicians here. Like this is this is easy. Sure. And then he's like, get him. And then he's like, I made my money. And then then, then they have to find some way to like get him to make a personal bet. Uh huh. And they either put Clark against him or they do something that, else like that. But I want this to not go exactly like the yes. first iteration of the right. job. The, I want something to go wrong. Not here. just because of his whole I'm not sexist bit, but the fact that there were ways in which they're like, this is our plan. And they had to actually roll with the punches of, no, this is an actual person, even though right. he's also an idiot in his own special way. Yes. Like, 
he's not going to do exactly what you yeah. want him to do. That's how you can make these cons feel earned mm -hmm. rather than just, aha, we're so smart that, you know, it we have this obtuse screen. thing just yeah. all happen exactly the way we wanted, right. you know? Right. Yeah. I, I do like the idea of that happening and that could maybe be how they get the same effect as Casano, mm -hmm. where it's the, oh no, the FBI's here. Fuck, you Fuck, know? Yeah, and then, wow. oh, hey, that's actually what we wanted to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, damn. Yeah, they, they set up to do some crazy stuff mm -hmm. and, uh, Abby fixated really quickly on Louis being potentially ex-military. Yeah. Well, what I mean, was... I mean, I feel like it's fairly straightforward, right? Well, she well, was in a at least paramilitary unit. But when you know. that that seems way too convenient. Yeah, there there were a few things in this episode that felt kind of like not what I would have expected. The whole thing of uh, Louise's wife potentially like was she the one who you know got the information out but also like Laurent having the ring on the necklace and then the fact uh -huh. that even after all that stuff with Abby in the previous episode we actually didn't do much with Abby this episode like it was mostly all the con stuff oh, right and the we mechanic actually stuff that we have to full, set up the full con, right yeah but as for her actual motivations she largely ended in the same way that she ended in the previous episode except she's, she's got fixated the metal. now on Louise which is yeah unless and, they're from well, the I mean, the, I so know. so the fixating on Louise, apart from the military thing, the way I see that happening is it's the, what if I didn't die, though? What if I was just, like, you know, fucked up in a wheelchair? Like, and I guess that... That, that makes no sense. Yeah, I, I, yeah, well, it's, I mean, it doesn't necessarily make sense, but maybe it doesn't have to, because obviously you could just then be like, all right, eat a bullet, you know, right? But, but she hasn't actually, like directly intentionally killed herself yet so yes that, she's alive so right she's alive so that's not what she's planning on doing but also like well no but that she could she has a death wish no 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 she no 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 totally but like that's that's where i could see it potentially being something that she would fixate on of here's somebody who basically danced with death and it and and it didn't go well for them okay okay yeah. Why she would necessarily care about that more than like an ancillary, like observational, yeah. oh, that sucks. Wow, that, right. hmm. You know, but at the same time, hmm, you know, so. And it's kind of morbid stuff, but it's, yeah. I think, the the thing of where I I don't, I, I just don't want there to be a thing of where Louise was one of the people that was yeah. there. It just feels extremely right contrived if that's the case bits of contrivances with regards to the cons are a lot more fun because that's part of the the act right mm -hmm. whereas if you do that for character moments especially for something as uh emotionally charged shall we say as a death wish that could be less satisfying yeah so i'm just i'm just hoping this is more of a thing of where she's like i don't like dealing with military people in general sure and it's just something it reminds that, me of the people that killed my squad or something you or, know or whatever yeah yeah, yeah something yeah. like that but mm -hmm. okay all right we now have him fully in mike portnoy let's 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 God. go yeah yeah let's do it so y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time Time.